Hello everybody, my name is Matthew De La Cruz and I'll be showing you a tutorial on a Mac application called Alfred. Um, Alfred is an exclusive application for Mac users. What Alfred is is basically a search bar that helps you search for anything on your computer and web. So the first step in actually using Alfred is actually downloading the application. So what I would like you to do is go on your web browser, I use Firefox, and Google the Alfred app. It should actually bring you to the alfredapp.com webpage, and all you have to do is download the app. Um, don't worry, it's free. And uh, click on the link that says download now. Um, press OK and save the file. I already saved the file, so I don't have to do it. Um, once you open the file, it should bring you up to a preferences page. Um, it just basically shows you what Alfred is all about. Um, in the preferences page, it gives you different tabs on the different options that you could do with Alfred. I'm going to go with by each tab with you step by step. So under the general tab, what you could do is you could actually see if you could start up your computer with Alfred or you could assign Alfred a hotkey you could assign it to command Z, command X, command C um, I like to go with Alt A since it's easier for me to remember because of um, Alfred starts with the letter A Under the Features tab, what you could do is you could uh, customize what Alfred does for you. It could, what Alfred could do for you is actually, it could search your files, um, it could search for your applications, and what's pretty cool about Alfred is it could do custom web searches, such as it could search for Amazon, Google, Yahoo, uh, LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, Basically anything that you want to search on the web, on a search engine, Alfred could do for you. What's also pretty cool about it is that Alfred actually has a calculator embedded to the application. Um, it has, it could check your spelling, uh, it could actually define a word or spell a word. Um, with the email, address book, iTunes, clipboard, iPassword is actually for the power pack users. Those are for the users that actually downloaded the application and paid for it. Um, we downloaded the free version, so unfortunately we don't have the these other options or accessories that are available to us. Um, under system commands, this basically tells you what Alfred could do um, with the computer system. Uh, it could show you the screen, screen saver, trash, empty trash, log out, sleep, lock, restart, and shut down. Okay, so under Appearance, um, you could actually change how Alfred looks like. This is what my Alfred looks like right now. So you could actually change it to dark. Um, OSX Lion, Pistachio, Dark and Smooth. Um, I like using the light color because it's not really distractible and it's easier to see for me but you could change it to any color that you want. Um, with the usage is basically showing how many times you use Alfred um, since I just recently saw the application and I just recently found out the application I haven't really used it as much but uh, it's a pretty cool app so I plan on using it a lot. So now that I showed you how to actually customize your Alfred application, let's actually use it. So my hotkey is Control A or Alt A, and um, say I want to or say I want to bring up the trash. It would actually bring up the trash rather than clicking on the trash button. Say 
I want to show my screensaver. We could actually show the screensaver that you're on. Say I want to search um, on eBay some clothes to buy. So I'll go on eBay and search fashion. Instead of actually going on your web browser and uh, going on ebay.com and clicking on fashion, Alfred could do it for you by just searching eBay fashion on the search bar. Um, what else can Alfred do? It could actually, like I said, it could actually has a calculator embedded into the application. So let me bring up the search bar again. Um, say I want to calculate what 25 times 50 is. Uh, the answer is 1250. Um, it could actually do different functions of a calculator also. So say I want to go what 150 minus 70. Um, the answer is 80. Um, Alfred could also uh, define a word or um, check your spelling on a word. Say I want to define uh, um, human resources. So it will actually give you the dictionary definition of human resources. Um, it is the source, no entries are found, um, and actually the whole Wikipedia page for human resources, which I think is pretty cool. Um, Alfred could also search different web, en web, web search engines such as Google, um, YouTube, anything that you want to do on, uh, on uh, searching the engine, you could do via Alfred. Um, say on Google, Google Maps, um, just basically anything. So, I hope you like my tutorial. Um, I really like Alfred because uh, it could do a lot of things with a search bar um, built into your computer and it could do a lot of different things at the same time. Um, it makes everything a lot more efficient, more quicker. Um, I really recommend this application for all Mac users. So, um, I hope you like my tutorial. Um, thanks for everyone for watching my tutorial and I hope you download the application. I really like it so hopefully you'll like it too. Thank you.